नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अमित भारद्वाज आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग फॉर एटीन ऑफ अगस्त नाउ इन दिस यू कैन सी दैट द पास ट्वेंटी फोर आवर रेनफॉल ऑब्जर्व सो वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल हैज बीन ऑब्जर्व ओवर बिहार एंड लक्ष अंडमान आइलैंड एंड ओवर बिहार यू कैन सी दैट दीज आर द स्टेशन वेयर द वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल अमाउंट हैज बीन ऑब्जर्व एंड इन सेंटीमीटर यू कैन सी दैट वेन वेस्ट चंपारण रीजन फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर भोजपुर 14, नालंदा 13 एंड वेस्ट चंपारण अनदर स्टेशन रिसीव्ड 20 सेंटीमीटर ऑफ माउंट ऑफ रेनफॉल एंड यू कैन सी दैट इन येलो कलर वी हैव शोन हियर द मेट सब डिवीजन वेयर द आइसोलेटेड हैवी रेनफॉल हैज बीन अकर्ड सो दिस इज पास्ट 24 फोर आवर ऑब्जर्व नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द करंट लोकेशन ऑफ द मानसून ट्रफ यू कैन सी दैट द मानसून ट्रफ इज पासिंग फ्रॉम बीकानेर सीकर ओराई सिद्धि रांची एंड टू द सेंटर ऑफ द लो प्रेशर एरिया विच इज ओवर साउथ बांग्लादेश एंड एडजॉइनिंग एरियाज सो दिस इज द करंट लोकेशन एंड इन फ्रॉम पास्ट वीक यू कैन सी दैट दिस मानसून ट्रफ लाइन वॉज नियर नॉर्मल एंड इट इज ऑसिलेटिंग नियर नॉर्मल टू द मानसून ट्रफ नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द करंट सिस्टम एज यू कैन सी दैट देर आर दीज द लो प्रेशर एरिया ओवर साउथ बांग्लादेश एंड एडजॉइनिंग एरियाज Uh, it persists from persisted from yesterday and today uh, uh, this uh, low pressure areas uh, extend up to 5.8 km above mean sea level which is tilting uh, southward with height there is another cyclonic circulation you can see over south pakistan and adjoining areas which is up to 3.1 km above mean sea level and there is also a south uh, cyclonic circulation over north interior karnataka and adjoining uh, telangana region Uh, which is also tilted southward with height and uh, reach up to 4.5 km above mean sea level and you can see that there is a monsoon trough line which is passing from the center of the cyclonic circulation from north interior karnataka to south uh, east arabian sea across uh, south interior karnataka and kerala region so these are the monsoon systems now if you talk about today's highlight you can see here uh, the low pressure area is over south bangladesh and neighborhood uh, is likely to cause heavy to very heavy rainfall over east india during next 3 days also isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall uh, likely to occur over kerala tamil nadu and lakshadweep area during next 2 to 3 days so these are the highlights now if we show the rainfall warning for up to 3 days you can see in this graphical format the heavy to very heavy rainfall will likely to occur Uh, means very heavy rainfall that means from 11 cm to 20 cm is likely to occur over uh, east uttar pradesh regions also due to this presence of the low pressure area uh, gangetic west bengal also the nmmt region can have today uh, uh, very heavy rainfall amount the other uh, portion and other met subdivision uh, isolated heavy rainfall can occur which is shown here in yellow color for the day one now if you talk about the day two you can see that very heavy rainfall warning has been issued for uh, east up and also gangetic west bengal and jharkhand region and this nmmt region is also been covered since the low pressure uh, system is likely to move slowly after becoming a well marked low pressure area uh, uh, tomorrow and then it is likely to move slowly from uh, passing from gangetic west bengal bihar and uh, then moving to the north uh, uh, west northwest direction so this is the very heavy rainfall which can occur due to that system and for the day to warning has been issued now if we talk about the southern peninsula of india tamil nadu kerala and lakshadweep very heavy rainfall warning has been issued for day 2 as well as for day 3 lakshadweep uh, island very heavy is issued but for kerala you can see that for day 3 a very heavy rainfall warning has been issued now for day 4 you can see uh, day 3 you can see that these regions are been covered for very heavy rainfall including gangetic west bengal jharkhand west uh, east uttar pradesh as well as uttarakhand regions uh, where the day 3 uh, warning has been upgraded to very heavy rainfall and the other portion you can see in yellow mark uh, where the isolated heavy rainfall can occur over most part of the central regions also the west coast of india including uh, konkan and uh, goa and coastal karnataka south interior karnataka and tamil nadu regions now if you talk about the very heavy rainfall for day 4 you can see day 4 and day 5 for the day 4 bihar and uttarakhand region has been covered and for day 5 only bihar region has been covered for the heavy rain, uh, very heavy rainfall amount and this warning uh, uh, will continue to heavy rainfall which covers most part of the central and uh, uh, 
uh, indo gangetic plain including uh, up uh, west uh, east up bihar uttarakhand northeast of india and central part mp uh, east rajasthan uh, chhattisgarh and odisha region for day 6 and day 7 so these are the warning uh, in shown here for the 7 days now if we talk about the fisherman warning graphics as you can see that uh, there is a low pressure over the south bay of bengal and uh, due to that squally region warning squally uh, 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 squally weather warning has been issued for north bay and uh, adjoining and along and off north odisha and gangetic west bengal for up to day 3 day 1 day 2 and day 3 and you can see the other mark polygon which is covering most part of in day 1 karnataka to kerala comoran area lakshadweep and adjoining areas in these polygons this warning will further increase from day 3 onwards including south konkan region to uh, karnataka and kerala and comoran region and gulf of manar so fishermen are advised not to venture in these uh, regions as been marked in this figure up so these are the fishermen warning and you can get the updated detailed information and specific fishermen warning bulletins in our website and you can also follow us on twitter instagram for get to get the up to date information so that's all for today namaskar dhanyawad